Hello everyone and welcome to episode 8 of How to Join the Orb Horde. So, this month we're back with yet another schedule analysis, but with a little twist. So, this time I have my very good fiery friend, Embor Buff, with me. Embor, let them know who you are. Introduce yourself. Hey buddies, Embor here. I am a Fire Emblem YouTuber who makes stupid meme videos. I am a lover of Riss and Alphonse, and most of all, you should eat all cornetti. Uh, as long as they're not <laughs> explosive. As, as long as it's not explosive, just eat a lot of cornetti, which are croissants, by the way. <laughs> well, welcome, Embor. Glad to have you here. Uh, and I'm sure everyone's going to be thrilled to see you on the channel uh, with me this time around for this event schedule analysis. Well, I, so... hope, well, I hope they are, because I am mad they didn't have me in Smash. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they preferred to bring back that uh, other fire one. I forget what his name is. He's so forgettable. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't love Embor? Incineroar is like so lame. Duh. <laughs> All right. So this month we're coming off an interesting update in 2.11 with the new uh, Aether Raids mechanic, which is very interesting. But then they sort of waited a few days until they gave us the event schedule and it kind of came a little bit later than I thought it would. And just like we expected, they didn't really give us too much, um, but we'll get back into that later. So before I start my analysis portion, Embor, I'm going to direct this to you and open the floor to you. What do you think about the event schedule that they gave us this time around? What stands out to you in particular? Well, the thing that stands out to me the most is totally the summoning focus heroes with vantage. I, I mean, we had one like last year, so it's gonna be a different one, I hope. And mm -hmm. since last uh, last banner we had Reynard, the blue tome Reynard, I totally think that this banner will have Sword Reynard. <laughs> totally. Yeah, gonna, that makes sense completely, it, actually. It's totally gonna have Sword Reynard in it and some other heroes like uh, maybe Ishtar. That would be interesting. Yeah, that would also be two blues. And we had Ishtar recently on a banner, didn't we? Um. Not really recently, I think um, maybe some weeks ago. Hmm. Oh wait, we actually had Ishtar on the uh, Blue Mage voting gauntlet, I think. Right. And I think Mia also has Vantage, doesn't she? Yeah, Mia as well does have Vantage. Yeah, so she could be on the banner, potentially. Yeah, maybe it's gonna be these three, or maybe they're gonna just troll us to like, Oh, we're recycling the last year banner because we are so good at making banners. And just put Gordon on there for five points! Five points! Let them all go, <laughs> but Mars! <laughs> yeah, so that's... I don't know if that's uh, interesting, but it, it could be potentially if it's Reinhardt and Mia on there and Ishtar. That, that could be a very nice banner, for sure. Yeah, it even has the color share, so you we guys can, like, screw our, our orbs on that. Like, no, I wanted rain on Mia, stop, stop giving me your armpits and stuff. <laughs> then All I, right, so what else stands out to you, aside from the one with Vantage? Before the banner with heroes with Vantage, we're gonna even have more heroes, which mm -hmm. is interesting, but... I mean, we just recently had some new heroes, and um, November the 20th, we're gonna have some more. I hope they're not like seasonals, because that would be sad. I mean, in in December, we're totally gonna have some more exclusive heroes, because, that you know, it's Christmas. Right. So, having them so close, so many... Um, um, seasonal heroes together, it's not... it's never a good thing, like... You can remember a few weeks ago, eight banners with, like, one daily orb. Yay! Yep. <laughs> and as well, we're gonna also get a new Grand Hero Battle, which is always interesting because free units are pretty much... pretty much what the game is great about right now. I mean, the, the new banner is pretty sad. I mean, uh, you know, fifth Camilla! Yay! Da -da 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 Yep, and, and not one, but two new Corins. Well, new in between quotations. Azura Corin, because that's that's great. I mean, I wonder what Azura is thinking about right now. I mean, they, they still they stole all over their clothes. <laughs> She's gonna have to go around naked. <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Miss Azura, what can I do for you? I want to file a, a theft. 
For what? My clothes. <laughs> they all stole them. I think I saw like a comic, a small comic of like Azura's closet and it's empty. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, definitely. If I find yeah, it's, this... It's if definitely I... weird, you know, because it says New Heroes and it says Adrift. And to me, that's kind of like... Well, it says New Heroes, but there's three alts and then one random unit that's new in Mikoto. To, so to me, I wonder if this is actually kind of a seasonal in disguise kind of banner. Because yeah. it really doesn't give me that New Heroes banner kind of vibe at all. Yeah, you're right. I mean, Mikoto is so random. I mean, if I remember correctly, because I didn't, I played Fates like brain dead, like I think any other good fans of Fire Emblem did, because the story is brain dead, so you have to play it brain dead. I think that like Azura never had any relationship with Mikoto at all, so why is, it, is she playing the mother to Azura? I think, I mean. Child Azura didn't even know about Mikoto because she was in Nor Castle with Arete. So, how does she even know about Mikoto? Yeah, it's definitely interesting. I don't know. Plot holes! Yay! <laughs> you mean more plot holes? I mean, Fates was pretty much. How? What? Why are you doing this? I'm evil. Why does this happen? Earth Realms. Realms. It's just realms. Don't don't worry about it. It's ethereal realms. J just go. Just go with it. Just go with the flow. It's it's realms. Just go with it. It's just because. There's no explanation. That is how it is. You have to believe. That's yeah. it. Even Garon is the worst. I mean, it's so sad. I mean, <laughs> he should be like. I was hoping for him to be a cool villain. But it's sad. It's so sad. Why are you doing this? What brought you to be so evil? I'm evil. Why do you do this? I'm evil. Father, what happened to you? I'm evil. <laughs> yeah, we. I, hopefully they can fix this moving forward. I mean, they did very well with Shadows of Valentia, so... I don't know, I'm a little bit hopeful for Three Houses. I think that'll be a step in the right direction, hopefully. Yeah, I don't have an, a clear opinion on Three Houses as well. The trailer didn't really give me much of to think of, except for the fact that um, now a unit is a whole army of sorts? Whatever. It's just visual, so as long as it doesn't affect the gameplay too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It looks nice, but we'll see. We, we can't really judge, like you said. The trailer didn't give us much. Yeah, I hope they don't screw up. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyways, back to our schedule, since we've deviated a little bit from that and gone off on a tangent. Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to look here. I'm going to do a little bit of a quick analysis. So if we're looking at the next banner, they've only given us one banner. And I think the New Hero Summoning event on November 20th, this is the highlight. Usually when we get an event schedule like this, there's usually two banners and sometimes three on it. Now, I know Legendary Hero Summoning event is there and the Summoning Focus Heroes with Vantage is there. But usually we get a New Heroes banner and a Special Units banner, or one or the other, or two of the same, combined on the same schedule. Except this one doesn't have two of them. It only has one new hero summoning banner, and it's going on for almost three weeks, if or maybe three weeks, exactly. And it's ending on the 10th. Now, I have a little theory about this, and maybe it's it's obvious. But what I'm thinking is, is we're probably going to get another schedule for update 3.0. And that's probably when they're going to reveal the next banner. And so, is this a hint? sort of towards the timing of 3.0? Is it going to be around a month from now, the 10th of December, 11th of December, something like that, and to coincide with it, we might get a new banner? Hmm, that I think would be, that would be interesting. That's actually a pretty pretty good theory, pretty solid. Mm -hmm. What I totally hope for 3.0 is to like bring multiplayer, though. Fire Emblem Heroes really needs some kind of multiplayer, and no, the video I did does not count because I because multiplayer is not when a guy has to do 12 hours of editing to make it happen. <laughs> if you guys don't know what he's talking about, Embor did a relay defense uh, collaboration with a bunch of different YouTubers. I had the uh, honor of being in it as well. Uh, so it's on his channel, you can go check it out, and maybe I'll leave a uh, link in the description to it as well. It's it's amazing. 
But getting back to your point about multiplayer, how would you want them to implement multiplayer in Fire Emblem Heroes? Well, in all honesty, I think that cooperative modes are the way, because back to Fates, I still have Vietnam flashbacks of, of Fates multiplayer, because it was bullshit. I mean, Midori still haunts me in my dreams, so please, not, not PvP. PvP is, is crazy, it's stupid. <laughs> so, cooperative modes is the way, and you can either do this with like um, something like Relay Defense, where it's like eight players in a lobby, where they have to use one unit each, and they have to keep going for a while, or you can do something like, instead of defense, like raid the boss mode, where there is, <laughs> or there are some very strong opponents and you have to take them down on waves two of eight players, where they all do their best. Do well, my best! Do my best! <laughs> oh my god, Nino! 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 Okay, I stop. Um, <laughs> so we either have to work cooperatively, defensively, or aggressively. But either way, it's cooperative mode, not not of not PvP because PvP does not work because it's either full defense or full offense. But it gets boring soon. Mm -hmm. It's like arena, but much worse because the other guy actually has a brain. Yeah, I mean, I, I personally, I would love to see PvP, and I have like some ideas on how to make it work. But if I were to start this conversation, we'd be going on for hours and hours and hours on end about debating it. So we'll leave it yeah. there. Uh, but I agree with you. I definitely think co-op would be an interesting idea. Uh, I think it could be something that would either replace or enhance on a mode like Voting Gauntlet. You know. Yeah, Voting Which Gauntlet is... has some hints to multiplayer, but it's still like, it's still PvE, it's not, it's not real multiplayer. Yeah. Another thing I was hoping for 3.0 is to add like, um, a hero manuals shop. I think that would be so good, because right now we can use the, uh, Deus Vult, <laughs> the Deus Vult things, the, the grails, the heroic grails. To, yeah. to buy Grand Hero Battle units, but there are still tons of units that we cannot merge. Well, tons. Three, actually. Three of them. Oh, which ones? The, the Asker Trio. They still cannot be merged. <laughs> ah, yes. So, one way I think they, they, they can be merged as well is to, is to add through this um, Hero Manuals shop that changes daily, even heroes like Alphonse and Sharina or Anna. Just give Anna an alt, damn it! She's... <laughs> <laughs> Why does not she deserve it? Back to the matter at hand. I think that Hero Manual Shop could also be a pretty good um, idea to make it like, oh, you want some distant counter? Well, today we have the special offer, you can buy yourself an Hector. But still, you're not like just buying an OP unit because it's just a Hero Manual, you can't really use it. So it's mm -hmm. either a merge or skill inheritance. You can't really use the unit. And yeah, that... I agree. I think that would be a nice option for sure. Maybe not Hector, but <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> well, maybe Hector. Oh, you want a Hector? 75 orbs, thank you. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. <laughs> I would too, except I don't have the orbs, so eh. <laughs> <laughs> Still, and that they could also, you know, put um, Alphonse and Sharina. You can buy... Hero manuals of Alphonse and Sharina. If you want them to make them unique, you want to keep Alphonse and Sharina and Dana unique so you cannot have multiple copies of them, you can do it this way. They're just hero manuals. So it's not technically having multiple copies of them, but this way you can merge them. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. I think they it, it was a good step that they refined their weapons. I think that was necessary as a beginning, and now I think it's time for them to start introducing merges to them. Yeah, I think I think they should make it to make free to play even more accessible. Because they're doing a good job though with the, with this new uh, shop for the Grand Hero Battle and Tempest Trial units. I think that was an amazing. Obviously, I'm biased because I want a plus ten by Arvis, so I'm happy about this. Well, but I think I... in general, <laughs> for people who don't even want the units, it at least gives them good skill fodder. Yeah, pretty much. I think it's a very good idea. There's lots of skill, good skills to inherit, like from. Um, 
Linus, we can get the uh, brazen attack speed, which is pretty great. Or we can have um, chill defense from wall art. There's, there are tons of pretty good skills to inheritance. Or infantry okay. pulse from Marissa. Yeah, that's also pretty interesting. Infantry pulse is pretty busted, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's pretty, it's a pretty great addition. And people who want to plus ten their Black Knight or Arden or Arvis, eh? as, as you said, or they... maybe two plus tens. Oh, you want to plus ten twice? <laughs> you, t you can technically. They can give us up to twenty copies, so you can. Oh no, no, no! It's not that I can. It's that I will. Oh, oh. <clears throat> let me do that. Let me do it right. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have not one but two plus ten merged grill masters. I can't wait for that. Yep. And we're gonna put Sigurd as a sandwich right in between both of them. <laughs> so he cooks up even better. Yep. All right. So let's do some predictions. What do you think the next upcoming banner is going to be? I know that they. Usually what I would say is, it has to be Fire Emblem 6. We haven't had a Fire Emblem 6 banner at all, but nope. Intelligent Systems decided to tell us Fire Emblem 6 is coming in March, which means two whole years. Two entire years without getting a Fire Emblem 6 banner at all. Holy so to be honest, I have no clue what the next banner is going to be. So what do well, you think? Well... It's pretty hard to predict, ever since we got this pretty weird banner, like, based on Azura's dream. So, mm -hmm. it's I think it's pretty hard to predict. I mean, for all I know, they could, like, slime us in the face with Duma and Mila, for all I know. That's true. I mean, they gave us fucking Awakening's final boss, so, I mean, everything's possible. Yeah, I think there is nothing that is out of the realm of expectations from intelligent systems. I think at this point they've shown that they will, they can and they will just throw things out at random just because. Yeah, pretty much. They, you can, you do. It's pretty much yep. it. But I feel like Shadows of Valentia, it's been a while since I know they got a lot of units early on and they pretty much got half of their entire cast very quickly. But now it's been over a year since they've gotten a banner. Uh, so I think that's a potential one. And then there's some people pointing out that, like, at the beginning of the schedule, there's Julius, Grand Hero Battle Revival, and then at the end, it's Selif and Julia. So people are like, well, what's in the middle? There's a Grand Hero Battle in the middle with a banner. Is that genealogy, possibly? Maybe? There is totally the chance. Yeah. Maybe mm, Grand Hero Battle... Mm, no, maybe not. Maybe in the summoning event, there could be, uh, you know... I tell I, I'm saying this for you so you can be happy. Um, you know maybe <laughs> Emperor Arvis. Yes. You mean uh, I mean what I mean more second generation of uh, genealogy. I don't know much about it, but uh, uh, I really want to see more Arvis. He's pretty cool as a character. Thank you. I, I and I'm saying I'm this more... as a guy who never played genealogy, so <laughs> I I like it from the little we know. You're gonna have to play genealogy soon enough. Uh, oh well, well I'll, I'll make sure of that. <laughs> I will when school leaves me alone. Uh, of course. <laughs> Leave me I alone. Think... <laughs> I also think Thracia as well could be an option here. Oh well, totally. Yeah, it's still a Jugdral, so it's possible. I mean, if we get Reinhardt with the uh, heroes with vantage, legendary yeah. hero summoning Reinhardt. Yeah. And maybe we can get another Olwyn alt on the banner. Of course, I mean, you don't have Reinhardt without Olwyn. A third, exactly. Third Reinhardt and third Olwyn. But I mean, the community loves Reinhardt, so... I mean, yeah. who knows? They could pretty much potentially slam us in the face with the legendary hero summoning Reinhardt. Um, what could they give even give him? You, I don't know. Maybe um, Thrashian Vantage, which is basically Vantage 4 but not inheritable. Yeah, just give him vantage all the time, no matter what. Trash him vantage. If the unit is attacked, unit attacks first. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that well, would be pretty that, broken. That would be pretty busted because it works with quick repost, so it's basically... Any phase? Nah, it's, it's like you initiated. It's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't... The only way at that point to 
I don't even know. Actually, the new skill, the one that is on Corrin, doesn't block Vantage, right? It only blocks Quick Repose, so it wouldn't even fix that. No, in fact, it, do it doesn't work on Desperation and Vantage. It works on Quick Repose, the fighter skills, uh, except Special Fighter. That, yep. that is, except feather Special Fighter. Um, I think even Flame Sigmund and Thunder are mods. Yeah. But except that, no, it doesn't block Vantage, so, like, Tracian Vantage would still work. I'm pretty sure that uh, SD King Odax would be pretty happy to slam some Doro Monstacardo 2.0 stuff. Yep, yep, exactly. Exactly. Alright, and then we've got one thing, uh, the summoning focus, the heroes with ward skills. Now, I know a lot of people have been wondering what that is, um, and I saw, I forget who it was who posted it in a Discord somewhere. They know who they are. Anyways, I saw that, and apparently there was something with the way that it's said in Japanese that actually refers to the skills, the special skills that Sigurd, Lin, and Brave Ike have. Uh, Bayark's Blessing, Crusader's Blessing, and Sakai's Blessing, I think. So I think oh. that's what that banner is going to be. Oh, that's possible. I mean, it's some it's a fa it's somebody focus and not uh, a new heroes. So it's I don't think it's gonna be like uh, Armor Ward and uh, Flyer Ward and stuff. It would be too lame. Would be too way way too lame. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I definitely think it's 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 probably going to be those based on that Japanese translation. So. Yeah, and then we have that legendary hero summoning event that I despise, and I say that on every episode of this. Uh, but this time, actually, the legendary hero summoning event, for the first time, I think, ever that I do this, the legendary hero summoning event is not conflicting with banners. Ever. On the schedule, which I think is great. Yeah, um, you're right. So, it's like halfway through the new hero summoning event. You're right. Yeah, and there's nothing after it that we can't see at all. I mean, I'm sure 3.0 is going to be huge, and so this is definitely, this month is going to be the month of ultimate bait. Uh, so I would suggest skipping the Legendary Hero Summoning event as usual, and waiting until the end of that new Hero Summoning event to see what comes after it. But what if the new Legendary Hero is Arvis? Well, so people always think I always say never pull, but no, it's like, it's you wait until it's your favorite character. And so if it is Arvis, and Arvis is one of my favorite characters, I will go in for plus 10. That is the exception that I tell everyone. If it's your favorite character, go for it. Well, go for I, it. Well, totally. What I don't like totally. is when people say, oh, it's a legendary hero summoning event, it's 8%. And we know what the pity breakers are going to be guaranteed. It's like, yeah, sure, you know, that's fair and everything. But Except you, you really can't really want snipe any of them. Except you can't really snipe for characters because it's gonna be pretty broken by another guy on the banner. Right! Oh, you wanted that sweet, sweet Jenny? Too bad we're not giving you another female Grima! <laughs> right, exactly. I mean, I mean, some people like all three characters on a specific color, and if that's the case, then great, go for it. In the case, uh, but it's in perfect. general, you it's like... I think people just see the rates and they're like, oh, it's 8%, it's higher than usual, let's just go for it, because it's a good percentage. I, in my mind, there's like Gaben saying, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's it for this event schedule. There's really not that much in it. Um, do you yeah. have anything you want to add? Yeah, um, ignore voting gauntlet and the forging bonds. It's just, it's, it's stupid. Yeah, I mean, I kind of did skip over them, because... Well, I mean, for the purpose, I guess, of this being the orb horde, uh, they provide you with orbs, so we'll take it if we can get it. And there's really a decent amount of orbs here. Like, we've got four login bonuses. We've got that legendary hero battle, forging bonds, the voting gauntlet, and then you've got Tempest Trials, which is going on at the moment, and the band bound hero battle, Corrin and Kana, down at the bottom, as well as three heroes quests at the end over there with Grand Conquest smack in the middle. Yeah. So there's quite a bit of orb generation here. Yeah, even the voting gauntlet itself gives you like, um, I think, 12 orbs in total, so it's pretty good. Yep, exactly. Uh, so this is definitely a month to sit tight, to hold on to your orbs, wait for 3.0. Usually I would try and pinpoint a date to wait for, but honestly, looking at the schedule, I would just wait it out until the very end of that new hero summoning event. Wait it out until you see what 3.0 brings. I don't think, and this is me just predicting, but I don't really think there's anything that's going to be worth it before 3.0. Yeah, 
Yeah, except the new hero's banner, there is nothing you can really look forward to. Mm -hmm. Except hoarding orbs. Yep. So are you gonna join the orb horde, Embor? Yeah, it's been a while since I last spent my orbs. I'm, at, I'm sitting at 25 orbs right now, so maybe I will for this month. Yes, push for 100. Maybe I will spend them all on on alcohol and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I actually made a bet with one of my friends, Days, uh, that if he saves up orbs until the very end of the month and he doesn't spend a single one, that I will be pulling for a unit of his choice just to encourage him uh, to save orbs. So maybe in hindsight, I probably should not have made that bet, but whatever, it was fun. And if it'll help someone save up orbs, then I'm all for it. Hey, bets are always a good thing. I mean, I forced a friend of mine to come over for Halloween because he lost a bet. <laughs> he kept saying, eh, no, I tell you, Halloween's mirror is not gonna have 180 BST. And it was like, no, bitch. She's gonna have 180. No, I bet I will not come to Halloween if she doesn't. And instead she had, so he had to come. <laughs> That's great. Although I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be on the winning side of this one, but we'll see. Mm, it depends on the guy you made the bet with. I mean, if the guy cannot hold strong to his guts, then he will just like spend the orbs. I mean, who knows? You never know. Sometimes people come out and they just surprise you, so... Well, people can do weird stuff when their their money is on the road, so, oh, who yep. knows? Who knows, exactly. Alright, so that's episode 8 of How to Join the Orb Horde over and done with my guest, Embor Buff. You guys should check out his channel. I'm going to leave a link in the description. I'm, everything, you guys got to go see it. He does some incredible work, some really funny stuff, some great sound effects. And the content, like, it's not just memes. It's actual content. It's clears. It's arena. It's... Bound Hero Battle, Grand Hero Battle stuff, Alphonse, you know, Riss, doing some incredible stuff. So definitely go check out his uh, channel. Embor, you have the floor. Anything you want to say before we close up? Uh, mm, let's see. Uh, I think I should say, uh, Cornetti! Yes, we got that clip for how to join the orb board. I'm keeping that. Thank you very much, Embor, for joining me. It's been a pleasure. And see you guys in the next episode of how to join the orb board. Oh, it has Peace. been a pleasure for me to be here with you, Grillmaster Arvis. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure having you.